Now, what is hindsight bias? So here's the definition of hindsight bias. It's mistakenly viewing negative events as more foreseeable than what it really was at the moment when looking at the situation after the fact. So that is like when you know the outcome. So we know in retrospect that this was an abnormal pathology report. So we must assume in prospective, the prospective world that she should have known it was going to come back abnormal. But that's not, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to judge prospectively. Prospectively, she had an expectation that, gee, this would be automatically sent to the, to the uh, office at Exodus. She had an expectation that if indeed there was an abnormality, somehow, some way, and you could choose, this is not, again, <laughs> you know, it, when these cases are tried together, and, and I, I, I take issue a little bit with this, oh, everyone's trying to blame each other. No. <laughs> I told you this at the beginning, and I'm going to tell you right here in a few minutes why these answers are all no. However, you have to look at the facts that you're dealing with. And the fact was that there was a procedure that could have, should have, prevented this because it would have been known who it went to and it would have been documented that they got it. That didn't happen. It was expected to be happening by Dr. Erickson. It was expected to happen by Dr. Wagner, and it was expected to happen by Dr. Ruffalo. <coughs> Put on the next slide of this. See, this is I knew it all along. Isn't it easy? Isn't it just about the easiest thing to do to say, <coughs> you know, Dr. Erickson, I get it that you don't, the way the practice was, you were not going to review your, your, uh, the path report. But surely you knew that it was going to be abnormal. And you knew that it was never going to get sent to Exodus. And you knew that even though there was a policy and procedure that would document that it was sent and who it was sent to, that for some reason that wouldn't happen. You knew it all along. That's easy. That's, that's an easy thing to do. But you know what? That doesn't need the burden of proof. The burden of proof is what is going on and what is happening prospectively. Is there one more than that? There it is. The inclination after an event has occurred to see the event as having been predictable despite there having been little or no objective basis for predicting it. And isn't this true? Why would someone prospectively predict that you're going to have an abnormal report that doesn't get transferred through the EMR, doesn't get followed up on by the unit clerk the way it's the, the, the policy procedure that's in effect said it should? What is the objective basis for predicting that? In this case, in this case, there was none. Unless you use your hindsight bias and say, look, it happened, therefore you should have known. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you that that doesn't meet the burden of proof. And also, it's just not fair. That's not a fair way to judge. <laughs>